In this video, we will show first-time users who are entering a shared concurrent group of licenses how to log in for the first time. So as you are familiar, Digital Codes Premium allows your organization to share licenses among the individuals in their organizations. The benefit of that is that you can share access and that you will also be able to share, or create and share the notes that you make on these code sections so other people can view them and you can have those collaborative advantages as well. So you will always log in at codes.iccsafe.org. You can save that as a favorite on your browser because you will always come back to this page. And the first thing you will need to do is create an account if you do not already have them. If you happen to already have an ICC account uh, for the shop or any of other websites, it is a single sign-on, so you could use that same account information again. If not, you will just select the register, and you will enter in all that information. If it does recognize that that email address has already been used, obviously you can submit to have a forgot password if you didn't remember it. But if this is the first time, you continue through the process, enter all the information, and when you select sign up, it will let you know that you will receive an email that you are required to open and confirm your registration with. When you've done that, you come back to the home page, and you can sign in now. And you sign in with that same email address that you just registered with. And when you sign in, you will see that it does recognize you are signed in with your email address there, and you are a basic user. The reason why it reads basic and not premium is because you do not have a license dedicated to you. You are going to be accessing that Digital Codes Premium content and titles in a shared concurrent group, so you just have one more step to take. Uh, note this real quick here, this orange box here does advertise uh, you can get a 14-day free premium complete collection trial if you do not have access to that in your shared group. Uh, sometimes organizations will just create a group with maybe one title in there or a collection of state titles or something else that is not the complete. If you wanted to see what that is, you could select that and you would have your own personal premium account for 14 days that would not affect your concurrent group access. But continuing on, you receive the email from your administrator that tells you the name of the group that you will be entering. So you hover over your basic account. First time you enter the group, you must enter the name of the group manually. So you open up the concurrent access dialog box here. And please enter in the name of the group exactly as you were provided. It is not case sensitive but you can use capital letters just to keep that organized. When I press submit, it will recognize that as an active concurrent group. As you can see up in the upper left, the Digital Codes Premium logo has now changed over there. And now you can see that you have the gold logo as well because you are in a concurrent group that has premium licenses in it. While you're in the group, you're able to navigate through all of the content. You are able to select and view this. These features we go over in other videos, but when you are done accessing the content and you're not going to actively use it, please log out because, for example, if there's only three licenses in your group and you have 10 people sharing it, uh, someone else wanting to get on will not be able to get on if all three of those licenses are being used. So when you are done, if you just click back on your personal profile, it will immediately release that spot for someone else to use. And that's confirmed because the premium logo is now missing from there and you can read that you are back in your personal account. All subsequent times you want to enter the group, you do not need to go to this tile anymore, the concur enter concurrent code. You can see that it will remember any concurrent groups that you were in previously and you can just click on it, and it will immediately place you back into that group, and you are back having access. If you forget to click on your personal tile, after 20 minutes of inactivity, meaning not going through any of the content or changing your the uh, web page or going into a book, 
It will kick you out after 20 minutes of inactivity, so you're not using it and monopolizing that license when you're not actively accessing the content. So after 20 minutes, whether it's a you're on a phone call for 30 minutes or you go out for lunch, it will automatically log you out, and then you will be back in your personal account. But once again, when you get back, you can try to enter that group again by clicking on that tile.